Hi there. This story's title is CC Love Signs by Kimberly Durtin and Shelly Arjoanis. Illustrations by Vashti Harrison. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. CC loved to ask questions. Her mother said her first word was why. Her father said it was how. But her favorite question was what if. You would make a great scientist, CC," said her teacher, Miss Curie, "because science is all about asking questions." Do fish ever get thirsty? CC wanted to know. They do," said Miss Curie. "Do hummingbirds really hum?" The sound comes from their wings," said Miss Curie. "What if we all jumped at the same time? Would the earth move?" Good question," said Miss Curie. "I think we should investigate." Miss Curie told CC and her friends about famous scientists from history, such as Caroline Herschel, Thomas Edison, George Washington Carver, and Jane Goodall. She also introduced them to many different sciences. Geology is the study of the earth. Biology is the study of living things. Entomology. is a study of insects one day miss curry told everyone to pair up for our next project i would like to pick a science you are curious about and come up with a question to investigate she said cc and her best friend isaac were a team they both loved zoology which is the study of animals now they just needed to think of an interesting question first they brainstormed a bunch of ideas Science is all about possibilities. Is a bear ticklish? CC asked. Do we really want to find out? said Isaac. Do pigs know when they are smelly? CC asked. Only a pig can answer that. Isaac said. Keep thinking, said Miss Curie. A scientist thinks outside the box and never ever gives up. That night at dinner, CC was explaining the project to her parents when her dog Einstein jumped up and started eating the food right off her plate. Einstein, down! said CC's mother. CC giggled. Her plate was licked clean except for the broccoli. Look what Einstein did. She said, "I guess neither of you likes your veggies." Her dad said, laughing. This observation gave CC a great idea. Einstein could be their science project. CC called Isaac. "I've got it. Let's find out if dogs eat vegetables." "Cool," said Isaac. CC couldn't wait to get started. The next day after school, CC and Isaac headed straight to CC's lab to work on their project. What do we do first? asked Isaac. Let's observe our subject. Observation: Doggy treats guarantee 100% participation. said CC. Excellent data. said Isaac Isaac and CC watched Einstein eat they watched Einstein drink they even watched Einstein sleep sometimes science was all about waiting and waiting and waiting for something really cool to happen from our observations we know Einstein loves to eat kidel and doggy treats said CC now we need to investigate our question Do dogs eat vegetables? said Isaac. I already know Einstein doesn't like broccoli. I don't either. Let's test some different veggies, said Isaac. It's experiment time, said CC. Finally. CC and Isaac tried carrots, beans and cucumbers. Einstein turned up his nose at each one. 
What if we disguise the vegetable with bacon and ketchup? Isaac asked. This time, Einstein was interested. He ate the bacon and licked the ketchup off the vegetables. That means he likes bacon and ketchup, said Cece. What if we just mix a vegetable with his kibble? asked Isaac. I bet he won't even know the difference. Einstein ate all his kibble but left the vegetables in the bottom of his bowl. Einstein might not eat vegetables but he sure is smart. Cece gave Einstein a treat and rubbed his ears. Good boy! She said. She looked at Isaac and shrugged. Now what? We are supposed to interpret our data, said Isaac. Einstein definitely loves to eat. He sure doesn't like broccoli, said Isaac. He doesn't like any vegetables, added Cece. Not even if we cover them in bacon and ketchup, said Isaac. I guess Einstein is a picky eater, said Cece. That night at dinner, Cece was so disappointed, she didn't even finish her dessert. Maybe I'm not a real scientist after all. Our project was boring. I thought you asked a great question. Her dad said. Einstein put his paws on the table and sniffed Cece's banana split. Einstein! Naughty puppy! Cece giggled. Her mother laughed and pulled Einstein away. He may not eat veggies, she said, but he sure likes bananas. That's when Cece remembered something Miss Curie always said. Scientists think outside the box. What if we create a secret recipe using bananas? She asked. Cece and Isaac rushed home after school and mixed together carrots, beans, cucumbers and bananas in a blender. Are those still veggies? Asked Isaac. Yep. They're just in a different form. Said Cece. Gross. Isaac said, wrinkling his nose. Cece poured the mixture into Einstein's bowl. How about a special smoothie? She asked, patting his head. At first, Einstein looked confused. He circled the bowl. He sniffed the bowl. Then he got down on his belly and wagged his tail. And then he slurped down the entire thing. Look, he loves it said Isaac. In science, not all results are totally predictable. Einstein does eat vegetables when we mix them with bananas, said Cece. And that's when Cece made the most extraordinary observation of all. Science isn't just about asking questions. Real scientists have fun finding answers too. The end. Thanks for watching. For more exciting read aloud stories, please subscribe to our channel Little Heart Super Kids. Also follow us on Instagram for amazing updates.